we can't see you, Logic, so it doesn't matter what you look like. I look me great. and Aries are looking fabulous for this reaction video. So. I don't even see you, Condor, but... <laughs> well, it doesn't I matter. I look great. Every, all our viewers can see us, and that's God, what God damn, so, my eardrum, boys. Are we ready? Because I'm going to hit Should play. Should I yell? So, here we go. I'm hitting play. Battlefield 2042. What you got for us? I want to ride that missile. I kind of like that clean oh, UI. Yeah. That's a clean Russian UI. Yeah, it is. I like the map. Uh, it actually kind of reminds me of like Ring of Elysium. A little bit. The mount? Yeah, a little bit. There's me in the fucking deserts of Kuwait, back in 08. This is like Gulf of Bowman. I'm kidding, I never. Yeah, I, I could never, never have survived Gulf of that. In the future. Oh, snap. Right. Oh! Spider Man! Oh! Oh! Okay. Imagine Look. the trick you could do with that. Yeah, there's okay. some dogs yeah. in the Xbox where I'm gonna fucking shit on if there's crossplay. Are uh, we playing the Danks now or something? For Dawn. Callings? Like it. They did say they were bringing that back from Battlefield 5, the call in stuff. Oh no, okay. Oh, hell yeah. No, never mind. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Yes. Destroy everything. Imagine getting caught in that thing. I have actually seen exactly people actually that. asking on Twitter and stuff if you throw a grenade into it, will it like just randomize what direction it comes out at and can you get some random ass kills? Somebody insert oh, this is music? actually oh. one of the that best things. That looks amazing. Yeah, the plus system. Ooh. I've seen that in one other game, one of the Crisis games did it, and ever since then yeah. I have wanted to see that in other shooter games. Being able to oh. mod your weapon on the fly. That changes attachments and stuff. Maybe you are obviously limited to only taking so many out with you, and you have to choose it as you load out. The gun's got a little recoil. Oh. Wingsuit. Wingsuit? Wingsuit. Okay. That's going to be fun and interesting, because people are going to parachute some people. Imagine you're flying a helicopter into that tornado. Yeah, spawn. does that tornado? I wonder if that tornado has active, like, if it brings you near it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually. Uh, it, it okay, so it, it is. Okay, so it is functional. That's good. Yeah, it's fully functional, goes through the map. That's the best part. No. So oh, one of my maybe. videos, I'm actually going to be talking about Levolution in Battlefield 4 and why and how it never progressed into any of the games. Dude, and I'm. It kind of did progress into the games. I'm fucking beyond hyped for battle. Like, I, I really am. It's the first one that I've been hyped for for a long time. I'm building a PC just to fucking play it. Now, like, obviously, first thing I want to say... I had to part Welsh, sorry. <laughs> I saw part Welsh's name in here, and I was like, oh my god, that's one of the dice people that I follow on uh, Twitter. So, shout out to him to actually him being the person... But the user interface was the thing I wanted to first talk about because there's a few things in this I want to talk about and obviously the user interface is the first one. Nice and clean. One of the biggest things for me was the tickets and like the flags and stuff would generally be at the top here or like more central here which sometimes got in the way which kind of annoyed me. So I like the way they've condensed it all down here into the minimap. That's really nice. Biggest thing for me is a positive is I like I like the interactive maps I like bringing that stuff back yep. to fruition. That is so good. But weird. I can already tell the main problem I'm going to have is it seems like there's a lot of bloom and and uh, like bright light like flare mm -hmm. and I hope I hope it's not like Battlefield. We was actually talking about this the other day Battlefield Four with how the sun bloom was just fucking ridiculous. To be honest, like I'm all about. I know that, like I know that, like in hyper realism, you know, you want to make it as as realistic as possible, but at the same time, there still needs to be you a level of competitiveness to it. to it, yeah, to where you can knock or a sniper casual, off. just funness, like you don't want to turn around a corner and be blinded by a sun. 
Right. But outside of that, I can tell you, I'm sure this wasn't captured anything crazy like 4K, but I mean... They definitely with, had it ultra everything, uh, blur and... Chromatic yeah, definitely. And, and all good, the settings max, definite. It's yeah, good looking. The, the weaponry actually is pretty pretty solid all the way throughout like the look right there you can see you have like a little bit of a uh led light strip on the bottom of your uh top iron sight not not bad definitely not bad gadget this yeah, is going to be incredible i want to be spider-man all right <laughs> <laughs> I, I obviously just had to replay that part again because yeah, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Yeah, shit like that. Straight away, I thought Pathfinder and the things and, you can do. Yep. The things you can do as Pathfinder are incredible on Apex, and then bringing but, that into Battlefield, the things I can imagine. Because obviously, it's the fact that if you fling yourself too much, or if he failed that, that's that could have been death for him. That's what I'm wondering as well. How far does it go? I'd probably get about thirty meters, twenty meters. I like think I think that's there. basically showed its maximum length. I think that was kind of what it was sh trying to showcase. Like this is like the maximum kind of optimal range that you should be using it at. Like any further. I, I wonder if it's going to have different death. up and down lengths to, like different horizontal. Because you won't want anything that shoots like twenty meters horizontally. One thing, like, obviously, I want to know is say. So you've got something like this, but like you've got a, a railing going around the bottom edge of it, and you were stood on the railing. If you ran this way, shot it out the wall, could you fling yourself out horizontally? Rather than what he did is went from a low place and flung himself upwards. I wonder if you can, say, fling yourself outwards, horizontally, say, round a corner, and get a flank on somebody using this. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to have advanced movement like um, yeah. Pathfinder really has. And another yeah. thing, like my last thought, so we don't spend too much time on this, is with the map like i wonder how many maps are going to be interacted to where they they almost close in because you know big maps can cause a lot of like boring gunfights you know yeah. what i mean like, not a lot of engagements so if it's let's just say you have exactly so if you have like eight maps that release and four to five are interactive and they draw in towards like a aoi that could and for those of you who aren't br nerds areas of interest um i really wonder really wonder how that would play out i'm looking forward to it i'm definitely the most hyped game for me in a long time a very long time i think every single one of the vanilla maps is coming with one of these dynamic like weather systems like um this map is the rolling uh, sandstorm like the gulf of omen sandstorm right. um as you see here i think this is going to be its major thing um this nice to obviously... see something different besides you know the basics. It's like a dawnbreaker kind of feel to it, like the cityscape kind of skyscrapers and stuff like that, or chill, or uh, Sega Shanghai. Um, right. This one's got the tornado on it, so I think obviously the tornado I don't think lands in the same place every time, and it obviously has randomized movement, so it's gonna. Did I they think... show the tornado in a playable area, or is it just like outside for sure? Uh, this is the actual. This is actual gameplay. So you see there, it doesn't. That's what I'm saying. You can't really see what where he's looking towards map wise. Right. Is that a? It, it could be because it looks like a guy on a four wheeler up there or something. But there is people caught in that. There is yeah, a four wheeler. You can, yeah, the guys are flying. There's a copter caught in the eye of that storm. So, <laughs> for one. There's then then there's that <laughs> guy tried to parachute out I think yeah then these guys run into a building so I'm kind of assuming that the this is actually going to cut off certain capture points and points. force people to yeah. have to be inside of it already before the storm hits and I've stopped people from being able to just swamp around repeatedly. It might like battle people. Yeah, you you will be forced to be like, oh shit, we can't go into the next one because the fucking storm's there. We've got to wait it out, and then people actually come and attack your 
flag before you've left it and actually force engagements rather than having the usual thing of one so oh, you get 64 people 32 players so you get 20 players in this group 20 players in this group and they go around this way and then these go around this way and it's no one ever engages each other other than the like the five randomers who decide to go the opposite way and get obliterated yeah. every time because there's 20 <laughs> players that they're trying to fight yeah. so this looks like it should hopefully get rid of that just going around in a big mob mentality and it should try and create some more dynamic like at least movement between the capture points and it not just be like a cycle of oh you hit this then you go to the next one and then this next one hopefully that changes um right. yeah, i think inside. it's gonna be a very 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 good game i like the repels they've added that's a good feature one thing i do like um no one has actually mentioned yet obviously this feature the plus system that was one thing i was trying to find as you see there, he's able to change between different things. Very basic, but I do like it. I think it's a great feature. It's one of the things that I've always kind of been annoyed with. Because there are certain guns. Actually, I'm not a gun fanatic. I'm never really used, I've never used a gun or anything, but I do know there are certain guns. I think I want to say is the AKM. It's the AK modular. And it's the one that can quickly have like like if you've got all the kit for it you can quickly like put a grenade launcher attachment onto it and then it, like you can clip it and slide it out and put like the master key attachment in. you can change it on the fly like if you've got the kit with you you can actually put extra stuff onto it without actually taking long it's like a couple of right, seconds right that looks really all, nice uh, there's a majority of, of weapons like ars uh can do that like ar-15 shotguns yeah I mean, there's there's like Remington and eighties and Mossberg five hundreds that you can go from a combat rig to a fucking two hundred yard deer slaying rig yeah, in two it, seconds. Yeah, exactly. So I love the fact that they're actually bringing that kind of aspect into it. So you could go from a forty times scope on your bold action rifle to being, oh, you're now in this elevator. Shit, you're gonna get into some close quarters combat. You clip that forty off. You put your red dot sight or a hollow sight on it, yeah. and you're ready for close quarters engagement. Put the silencer on because yeah some of that i super agree with my some phone of that is I don't. not muted right oh, well. yeah uh, mine's buzzing away it's our group yes. chat, but <clears throat> now nonetheless i think it's going to be a, a great a great game i mean i'm worried about some base things like hackers at the beginning i know that's going to happen oh yeah um, just one thing uh, obviously that i was actually meant wanting to say this tells you the distance of your squad mates for me, with the Battlefield games, each game has its scaling different from one place to another place. If you go Battlefield 1, 100 meters in Battlefield 1 is completely different to 100 meters in Battlefield 4 and 100 meters in Battlefield 5. And as a player who obviously loves to snipe, but I like to play all roles as well, that can be really frustrating because you don't just purely snipe and you don't just purely snipe in one of the games. When you swap between the games or swap between the roles and stuff, those distances can really landmark targeting. Yeah, like, and yeah. it's just everyone's like, oh, well, just look at a close by, like, flag or something. I'm not always playing Conquest, so I can't always do right. that. So, this, just having a little number on the, like, I don't, like, if that's HP, I don't think so, because there's a bar there. That looks 35. more like it's HP. I feel like that looks like 35 beast. feet. That's I'm, I'm assuming feet. So 81. Yeah, I'm, feet. I think they're gonna go meters. Really? That's something you oh, yeah, true. Know. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, they will go meters because they've gone meters for the past three, four games. So yeah, that, yeah, that's that'll be meters. But yeah, like Ally doesn't have it, but squad mates do. I think that's really good because that at least allow squad play to work because you can be like both like if the sniper can actually be a proper overwatch for his squad because when one of his squad mates calls out he instantly knows what zero ranging he needs to use to cover his uh, that that specific squad mate that yeah. i think is going to be really good that's just just something i noticed that i don't think i've seen anyone in any video or anywhere on twitter mention about it's just the fact that having your squad mates distance just on the screen like that can be really helpful for, as Eris said, sighting and zeroing and 
just knowing the distances of targets. Anything else, really? It's gonna be a graphically beautiful game. I don't know, I have a lot of faith. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. People, people in the gaming community just need to realize it's a fucking step back, and games aren't always gonna be good, especially like well, us twenty some odd year old bitching. Like, if you get on gaming Twitter, dude, all of us are like pre above eighteen should know that games aren't always fucking good, and we don't have to bash yeah. every fucking game that comes out. I can get pissed off at it. What's in my opinion and every fucking thing else, don't do it. I Leave think, them there. I think they have Leave them on their also console. said that they are staying, uh, console and cross-play servers are being locked to 60 hertz to make it fair. Then fine, because I won't I be on think, them. I'm going to be that's on... that's what they've said, but don't quote me on old, that chat. Old Aries is going to be fucking going through. They have server browsers. I'm going to find those 120 hertz, 100 x of hertz hardcore servers. There's gonna be there's gonna be the two forty hertz servers soon. Cause yeah, I don't have a two forty hertz monitor that can yeah. compete. I'll be at the one forty four. Xbox three six. That you know? was back you then. Know? This is now. You know what, Mama Harris told me? Me? You know what Mama Harris right. told me? It's we too damn bad, son. We... It's Some too people prefer. Bad. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, chat. It's too right. fucking we, bad. We, we, we're going well off topic here. Let's wrap it oh, up. Oh, we're going. We've been off topic we're, for a while. Yeah, we're, we're wrapping it up here. So. We need to round it back in. Thank Cross you, play on 128 player game mode. Period. End it. There you go, you heard game. that's Ares' final words. Mine is, thank you for all watching, like, subscribe, comment, do your thing, and love us all. Logic, wrap us out. Thank you again, everybody. Nice seeing you. And if there is cross-play <laughs> in an Xbox One player on hey, the old-gen console... At, oh, not old-gen, but... If you're on the old-gen consoles and you're lagging the fucking bout and you beat me in the fucking <laughs> forehead with a Mac 9, I'm fist-fighting you. Book it. Walmart parking lot, 2 a.m. You know where to find me.